Hello and welcome back. Dual spoilers say Ben and Claire will be going to Susan for more help finding Sierra this week on Days of Our Lives. The only problem is that Susan is really Kristen, and what will Kristen do? Days of Our Lives viewers will remember that when Ben and Claire asked for Susan's help the last time, it was because Susan is a psychic. Susan had found enough clues to know that Sierra was in a glass box, and she had been a shark. Alan had a shark tattoo, so now that Ben and Sean have come home empty-handed, but with enough t- checking for Ben's hutches to be real, and Claire want to see if Susan can provide any more clues through his psychic visions. However, now the woman they think is Susan really is Kristen. And Kristen knew she had to be weird as Susan to try and keep Chloe away from Brady. But now she's supposed to be giving psychic readings. And it's hard enough to wear faux deer and talk like a mountain girl and wear clothes that look like Walmart shopping and sleepwalkers at the same time. Kristen will have to do the only thing she can do, given the situation. She will just have to fake it until she can. Kristen and Susan starts off by asking Ben and Sierra if any of her psychic tips failed and tries to get more information out of it without them knowing she's doing it. Ben tells Susan about her last dream about him, and Sierra, and how real it was. As Kristen in her best squeaky voice of Susan nods and enthusiastically and says, good, 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 she tells Ben that the real feeling of dreams is a good sign, although it was a shame that he and Sean hadn't found the bad, bad, bad man. He tells her that he got a call from Sierra, who confirmed she was alive. And that's what convinced Sean to come over to his feelings that she was alive and needed their help. He told her that he had gone to jail and found out that the man who initially kidnapped her had hanged himself in a cell and dropped the name Vincent Bellman and also Alan Rhodes as having been Vincent's pilot. Kristen knows these names, but has to be careful not to step out of the character of Susan. Kristen must have studied Susan's more recent life to find out that she had a musician boyfriend named Roger. And she also knew that Rhodes had musical aspirations. She makes up a story that Roger spoke about Rhodes, and that they had played music together. Ben remembers the guitar in Rhodes' abandoned apartment, and it makes sense to him. Susan then pretends to try to hear the universe, while Kristen holds the head because she has a migraine. Claire tries to get Susan back on track, and Susan apologizes. But she can't read, because she had a headache. Sometimes the truth is the only thing that works, and it helps Susan out of the sticky situation. Stay tuned to Days of Our Lives and keep checking back for Days of Our Lives spoilers regularly for the latest news, updates, and developments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and see you again.